Hi guys, welcome to Soul's Journey, and I have a long-awaited unboxing to do. This is an absolutely gorgeous deck by a pair of creators in France, Pauline and Bruno. I think they are collectively known as Mystic or Mystique. I'm not sure how they pronounce it. Um, you can see there uh, if we can get this to focus. Yeah, Mystic Official. Lux X. And this is the Lux X Umbra Light Out of Shadow Tarot. And I may actually, oh, in bilingual, we have it in French on the back. Focus. There we go. And they have a YouTube page, but I'm not sure there's much there. Um, anyway, this deck was originally due in November, as several of the Kickstarter decks that I backed were. And because of everything that's going on now, it got held up. They also lost about 100 decks somewhere in transit. Either they were lost or possibly pilfered. I mean, who knows, right? If they start showing up on eBay going for crazy prices, I guess we'll know, but uh, hopefully that is not the case. Um, so, like I said, it was originally due in November, and it's now March 31st, so yeah, I've been really, really eagerly awaiting this one because it is just gorgeous. Oh, let me see, how do I get this open? Ah! Okay, let me carefully, carefully, carefully cut this. So I think this is a pouch and I don't want to destroy it. There we go. A pouch or, oh yeah, oh. So it is a beautiful black velvet. Right there. Oh, that's pretty, it's like, sparkly gold. I don't know if you can tell it's metallic gold threads there. It's beautiful. And it's embroidered in there. A key. Oh, look how pretty. What do we have down here? We'll get to the main event in just a second, but I'd like to go for the, the little stuff first. So it looks like we got a postcard. Ah, yes. I can't remember if this is, I think this is the Hierophant card in the deck. Let me kill this light. I think it's glaring it too much. Yeah, that's a little better. Makes the colors a little more vibrant. Oh, and a little bookmark. A mini bookmark. Oh, isn't that pretty with the gold there? Wow. Very nice. I like that. I can always use bookmarks. Okay, so, as I said, let's get on to the main event here. This beautiful wax seal. Let's see if we can. Lovely black ribbons. Oh, I hate to open it. It's so pretty. Oh, another little card on the back here. Lux Ex Umbra Tarot. Ah, gorgeous. Certificate of Authenticity. Oh, oh, I have number two of 840. Wow. Signature, I guess that's Pauline's chop. Wow, I didn't realize I'd gotten such a high number. Wow, I never do that. <laughs> oh, exciting. Oh, look, even on the back here, we got this pretty little sticker. You guys did a nice job. Very thoughtful packaging all around. Oh, I hate to break these seals. Oh. Let's see if I can just slide this off. I'm kind of half afraid to. Okay, hold on. Okay, I just got medieval and cut the ribbon. <laughs> Let's see 
This light's going to be too much here, I can tell. All right, let me get the plastic off. Okay. Let's see if you can see this. This is like um, spot the UV varnish. Oh, look at that. Like stars in it. Oh, that's pretty. This is beautiful. It's got that really soft... Um, what do they call it? like rose petal texture or skin like texture some people call it uh, look at that that gorgeous so it's black but when it catches the light it looks gold more stars more stars on the back what a beautiful box light out of shadow let's see if we can get that to show up yeah Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this deck, oh, even on the flap. Wow. This box alone is a treasure. <clears throat> so the deck is described, let me just read you a little bit about it here because it deserves it. A chiaroscuro inspired tarot deck that blends symbolism and astrology through its 78 original illustrations for dark tarot and oracle lovers. So, if you don't know what chiaroscuro is, okay, so chiaroscuro is the treatment of light and shade in drawing and painting. So, like, see if we can. So, it's like you use the light to highlight different effects and stuff. So, anyway, you can look that up um, if you want to know more about it. For those of us who are not artists. Okay, so let us take a look at these glorious contents here. Lovely book. Again, we got the... I guess it's like the UV varnish. You can, you can feel it, you know, it's got texture to it. I guess probably from the printing process. Lux Ex Umbra Tarot by Pauline A. She's the illustrator and written by Bruno K. They do not have their full names on here for whatever reason. So the book is bilingual as well. It's in French and English. Oh, we got correspondences. Okay, so here's the English version about halfway back. I'm sorry I don't speak French. I wish I did. It's a beautiful language. I only know a couple of words and my pronunciation is terrible. I got lights and shadows, deck structure. Well, let's see, the Lux Exumbra Tarot deck draws its inspiration from the world's magic. Its 78 illustrations were created in digital painting. From Latin Lux, light, and Umbra, shadow. So lights and shadows. I don't know if these are going to be on the cards. I don't remember seeing that on the, the Kickstarter page. Deck structure, we got correspondences. And I, I just noticed at the bottom of this page here, he says, note that depending on the books and authors, these correspondences can vary. So I think we've all seen that. Here in Major Arcana. Oh, okay, so you got light, which would be, you know, regular up, upright, and then shadow, which would be the reversed. Okay, so just small uh, interpretations of the, the different cards, no illustrations. And get into the suits, court cards. Oh, lovely little book. It's got that same beautiful texture. Oh, even on the back. Got the key repeated. Alrighty, let's take a look at these cards. Oh, maybe that's a little too close. There, got the fool. Oh, 
new bachelor. La Papesse. Kill this light, see if it makes the colors a little richer. Yeah, that's better. So, let's see. Yeah, look at that. That it, it just it looks like it's glowing. It's so bright. It's beautiful. Imperatrice, the Empress. The pearl. It's beautiful. So the card stock is oh, I forgot to look that up. And the deck is edged in black, which I also forgot to mention. Did I show the backs? Oh, yeah, let's look at these gorgeous backs. I see Leo up here. I'm a Leo, so that one always kind of leaps out at me. Not real good at identifying the rest of them. But, uh, let's see. 350 GSM. Okay, so... It's very nice stock. Oh, so gorgeous. God. The Emperor. So this is like a diamond. It's like a faceted diamond. The emperor governs the world with power and authority. Like a diamond symbol of clarity, he's stable and solid. Nothing can disrupt his structure. Of course, diamonds are the hardest substance known to man, I think. Lovely. Ah, yes. This is the postcard. Nip hop. I hope I said that right. Probably not. Uh, the lovers. Namoro. Le Chariot. That's interesting. That's very different. Justice. I think that is the Cat's Eye Nebula. Let me see. Okay, so Justice is eight, so they're going like the Marseille. Okay, do over. I got this far before and had to change batteries and forgot to hit the record button, so I gotta pick it up from here. Anyway, I'm not sure which nebula this is supposed to be. I mean, it's clearly looking like an eye, so I don't know if it's designed to be a specific nebula because it kind of looks like a cross between the helix nebula and the ring nebula and the cat's eye. So I think this is just a stylized nebula. And the hermit. Wheel of Fortune. And I'm sure everybody has seen pictures, or maybe not. I'm kind of an amateur astronomer, so I pay attention to these things. But if you point your camera at a particular spot in the sky and then just leave it on for a long exposure, you get these star trails as the Earth rotates. So it's like we are on the wheel. We are riding the wheel. Force. 11, and the power is in your hands. Le Pendu is the hanged man. Yeah, let me just read that real quick. The hanged man frees himself by accepting the sacrifice. From the tip to the base, he slowly burns, and his volutes of smoke rise towards the spiritual world. And these actually are darker than they're coming out on the camera, but that's okay. Death. Nameless card. Temperance. 
me read this one real quick. Temperance harmonizes opposing energies to restore the life's balance. Her mysterious chant heals the depths of the soul. I think that's a blue whale. And the devil. And this is like, it's like that spot you see on the, the black hole. It just sucks in all the light, nothing can escape. And I love, love, love this tower card. Le Maison du House of God. Another old name for the tower. Le Toile. La Lune. Followed by Le Soleil. And I like that they did this, the, the moon card is female and the male card is, or the sun card is male, which is um, very common attributions in a lot of mythologies, although not all. Some have the moon is male and the, the sun is female, but I think this, this is more common, or at least in the West. Interesting. Beautifully done. The judgment. Le Monde. Beautiful lotus there. So the miners are pips, but they are really beautifully done. The whites in the cards, it, it's, it almost like glows. It's so bright. It's beautiful. These are, of course, the wands. Oh, and the, the miners have, <coughs> excuse me, Arabic numerals, whereas the, uh, the trumps, or the majors, had um, Roman numerals, which is interesting. Kind of looks like a ladder. And the valet. So the quartz just have um, the astrological symbols on them. So the Page of Wands is Sagittarius. Queen of Wands is Leo the Lion. C'est moi. King of Wands is Aries, I think. And the knight is ruled by Mars. And the cups. I like the colors. The blues for the watery. That's pretty. I just love this, the, the white, the way it just shines almost off the, the black, dark background. These are really striking, the swords. Like lightning striking. And it's just beautiful. The 
This is very evocative. Hmm. Ten of Swords looks like a tornado or a whirlwind. And the lovely pentacles. Now, he was originally going to use, let me see if I can find it. I don't know, I can't find it now, but originally these weren't going to be um, pentacles. They were going to be, um, it's either a, like a Star of David or an octagon. I can't remember. Um, it seems to be, I, I can't find the update that talked about it. And I know I asked Bruno about it at the time and his explanation made really good sense um, and I, I wish now I could find it. Uh, maybe if he sees this video he can weigh in on it and I'm almost kind of sorry that they went ahead and, and changed it to pentacles but um, either way it's you know it's still gorgeous but it uh, it would have been interesting to have the other and it like I said it did make sense the way he explained it. Uh, Oh, and I, there was something about the four and the five being so similar. I just saw something about that. The four represents stability and must evolve spiritually if it wants to keep moving forward. The five must make a choice and detach itself from matter. The two are intimately linked. So, it's kind of interesting. This looks like st um, seeds floating up. Look like I don't know what kind of flowers these are supposed to be, but they look like California poppies to me, which I love. So here we've got the two again. So there we have it. Absolutely gorgeous. Lux Ex Umbra Light Out of Shadow. So I hope you guys like this deck. And I sure hope that extra box that they lost shows up eventually, but who knows. Anyway, I am just absolutely thrilled to have this deck at last. So beautiful. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys are all doing well, and I will talk to you soon. Blessed be.